garden friends, Cindy here. And Cardinals here, welcome back to CNC Garden Country. Today we're gonna to take you on a tour of the blue bonnets that have come up. It's blue bonnet season here in Texas and March is usually when you see uh, a lot of blue, a sea of blue in different areas. The more rain we get, the prettier there they are. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around and give you a tour. All right, let's get to it. We're gonna go ahead and start here in Carlos's man cave, as you can see here. Right in here, you see some blue bonnets in uh, containers. And we also have a few plants here that we're gonna be planting. Let's get a closer look so you'll see what the flowers and the leaves look like. The ones in containers seem to uh, grow the flowers a lot faster than the ones on the ground. Now let's go ahead and take a tour of the blue bonnets that we actually uh, planted uh, up in the front. At this time we're heading uh, to the front of our property. Right in this area, we planted some blue bonnets and you see some other tiny white flowers and a lot of greenery. So you see the blue bonnets kind of popping up here and there. Let's get a closer look here. You see the blue with a little bit of white on the flowers. Back up over here. Next year, we plan to put even more in here and of course, let the seeds from these blue bonnets go ahead and drop so they can come out naturally. Now let's turn around over here to this side. And we planted some blue bonnets over here. We planted a lot more in this area, but we noticed we didn't get as many as we were hoping for. There still are some, so let's go ahead and get a close look in here. Kind of sticking out here and there, but of course, there's not as many as we would like. So right here. Let's go ahead and back up. And you can see it's not uh, as full as we would like for it to be. Maybe maybe next year, hopefully, it'll, the more will come out. Yeah. And it'll look very cool against the mesquite fence. All right. Now, let's go to another section of the property. We've been planting blue bonnets over here for maybe about, what, six? Six years. Six or so. years or so, maybe a little bit more. This right over here is a five acre tract. You see more like a darker green in this area and a lighter green over there. That's uh, usually grass for pasture. Somebody comes and uh, bales. bales it for us. So right in here, there's a lot of little white flowers. There are a few blue bonnets and a few other types of wildflowers. A good patch of blue we bonnets. We get a right little there. patch over here like Carlo said. A lot of wildflowers. Have a Mexican hat right here. There's some more scattered there, some little purple flowers, some more of those Mexican hats, there's some blue bonnets there. And then over here is where there's more of a concentration of the blue, blue, blue bonnets. We all have, we also have some wild verbena here, this uh, lighter uh, purple. 
right in there. We come this way. There's some pink, little patch of pink flowers over there. As you can see, we have some nice clusters of blue bonnets in this area. Okay. More verbena here, very nice, with some little clusters of blue bonnets, that is. There's not as many in this area over here. Although we do have these wild flowers that kind of look like poppies. Let's check them out. They're like a pinkish purple and some white and then there are some darker purple and these always come up in the spring they're very pretty but i don't know if you could tell they're very spiky also also we have a sunflower coming up right here make a nice contrast And this way, there's not as many uh, blue bonnets as there are over there towards the middle. There does seem to be a nice patch over here. Now let's head over to the front to of the property over here by the road. As you can see, there's some stone gates here. These have been here for a very long time. Um, I can't really say how old they are, but they have been here a long time. We do have this uh, Spanish olive tree right over here. My parents uh, gave us this from uh, where they used to live. And now we have another one on this side over here. There are some oak trees over here that what we purchased uh, back, what, about over 20, 20 years ago? Years. And they were like about an inch thick. And now they're huge. Taking over. Also, we have another oak tree in the back Lovely. over here. And that one was given uh, to Carlos for his birthday. From, his sister. from his sister, so I mean, it was pretty small, and now it's and that was probably like ten years ago. Yeah, and then let's come over here. This right here is the skeleton bush. Uh, these are very uh, desert tolerant. They uh, don't need a lot of water. This has been here for definitely over twenty years. So let's back up over here. Let's see what it looks like. Be nice to plant some blue bonnets. We used to plant blue bonnets right in here in this area. And uh, for some reason, they haven't been growing uh, anymore. So I guess we have to start reseeding. This All right, garden friends. All right. Hope you enjoyed that video on a tour of the blue bonnets that we have growing by the man cave and also in our tour of our area here where we live. And if you like our content, click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.